Hello YouTube, this is Puck. How are you doing? Today I'm here with a Surface tablet that has a problem with the store. My store is not working. Here you see, it's saying this version of Windows is not supported anymore. That while I just did a complete new reset, I reset it, deleted everything uh, from the machine and did a complete new install of Windows 8, 8.1, but the store is not working. And that is kind of sad, no? The store is completely invisible, as you could see. And I'm kind of a little bit worried about it because I, I had all sorts of plans uh, with this device. I wanted to install Android and, uh, on it, uh, Linux, etc. But then <laughs> I, 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 I found out that these things, they come with an ARM processor. And an ARM processor is a processor that is not x86. So you cannot go ahead and just download some, some software that was created for x86 platforms. So you depend on the App Store. If the App Store is not working, you know, you, you can start scratching your head because then you have a problem. I'm going to show you how to fix it. What you will need is a line that you will find in my in my description. You're going to see a download. You must go ahead and download that file. OK, and then open the file and in the file. If you are on the tablet, it's better to do it on the tablet. You know, go ahead, download the file on the tablet. Uh, open the file on the tablet and then copy and paste whatever uh, is there written in, 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 in the little message for you. Okay? And that goes for the Windows 10 users as well. So the Windows 10 and the Windows 8.1 users will get one manual but with two different uh, lines of instructions that you will have to give to the tablet so your store can get fixed. Okay, the fix is really simple. Uh, open your command window with administrator rights, CMD. Just type CMD in the search and then open it with administrator rights and then copy and paste all this text that you see in there and hit enter. Restart your PC and your store will be fixed. Yes, your store will be fixed and all the apps will show. But the moment you want to download the app, you get a message saying your purchase could not be completed. Your internet connection is too slow. Try some other internet connection. Huh? There's nothing wrong with the internet. So that is another problem. But that problem is also uh, uh, easy to fix because it's just a matter of updating. You will have to go uh, to the update center. So let's go do that. Okay, welcome back peeps. This is the device. This is it. And, uh, well, I can zoom in a little bit for you, not too much, like this. And um, it's, what can I tell you? It's a very nice device. Here I'm listening to live ATC radio from Skip Hall. I'm going to close that for a second. We have split screen. Look at it. No, 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 this is not Windows 10. This is not Windows 10. This is Windows 8.1. But these tablets, they also got an update. The RT tablet got a special update, update 3. And in fact, I'm going to make a video of that as well. So what you're going to do, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the search bar and you're going to look for, uh, well, you can also go to just look for CMD. And then you're going to open it as an administrator. Okay. And we need to reinstall the store. We need to fix the store. And I'm going to give you this line here. It's saying PowerShell execution policy unrestricted at uh, app X package, etc., etc. You will have it in uh, in that in that little uh, file that you're gonna download, and simply copy it into here. So that's why it's better if you download it on the device itself. 
then you can easily copy it because uh, it's a very long line you will never remember it uh, and it will be annoying to type uh, but if you copy it and or copy and paste it into the administrator with administrator opened command window it will be uh, repaired and then you can restart uh, the device and then your store will be fixed okay but then you're gonna have this other problem that it will tell you uh, cannot connect uh, because of uh, uh, your internet connection too slow that is another problem that you will be able to fix by going to your control panel here and you go all the way down all the way oops why am i doing like this this is scrollable and then go to windows update okay and probably you will have some windows updates uh waiting there for you uh to 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 be installed uh, a bunch and you, if you're gonna take a look into these updates you're gonna see that um that they are uh most of them are micro my microsoft office updates but uh, it seems that this uh will be fixed after you installed all these updates you know then suddenly your store will be fixed and it will work again all right i start pinning apps to the start menu as you can see here so from here i can you know do certain things i can watch uh bonanza videos i can play uh uh machines here this here i'm playing this for fun and it all works and here my video bonanza you see that so uh i'm having uh, a lot of fun uh, with this device as you can see i also updated the icons the icons are also updated look at look at this man amazing huh? look at the quality made with the front camera also very cool at least i found it cool is that i found the app that would let me connect with my mac so i kind of connect uh, via wi-fi with my mac and then i can take over my mac and just use my mac on on the surface tablet that's kind of cool and uh yeah the touch is uh yeah kind of not so uh, handy because yeah it was not made for touch so in fact sometimes you have to tap two three times and also i find the connection a little bit slow i don't find it really fast as with uh, um, microsoft what was it remote desktop that one uh, works uh, really good eh? another thing i really want to show you before we're gonna stop this video this is uh, the samsung s3 mini and we fixed the battery yesterday in the video, remember? And it's been up for, can you read it there? It's saying six hours ago. So six hours ago, this thing was at 100% battery. And one day and nine hours left. So the battery that was in fact broken, <laughs> yeah. These are the results after the fix of yesterday. And it's still the same uh, battery. I'm not lying. Look, there you go, the Samsung. Including the cardboard that is holding the battery. You see that? So this phone uh, is a very good phone. <laughs> one day and eight hours <laughs> this thing uh, is, is, is beautiful so yeah I'm, I'm happy that the fix uh, worked um, in the last part of the video you could see that uh, after it was charged for a full hundred percent uh, after two minutes it dropped out of nothing to 90 percent so when I stopped the video I put it back to charge and then I saw something very strange 
I was looking at the process and then I saw it jumping to 95% and some seconds later it jumped back to 94% so I thought hey what is that I never saw a thing like that you know that it goes up and goes down again and then it went back to 95 96 97 and then at a certain moment it was at 100% and then I left it for a bit more and then I brought it uh, with me and it played ATC uh, radio whole night really soft and the next morning when I woke up it was still at 18% so it did drain but it looks as after the third charge the thing really got better maybe I didn't do too much with it today but it's been on for six hours now so I think our treatment uh, was really good for for this battery anyway peeps this was it i want to thank you for watching i hope you like this video as usual leave it some love and uh, all uh, all the best for you all and i love to see you of course in my next video tomorrow or after tomorrow or maybe even next week